Is this what the future of the world is? Instead of political extremists, we're gonna have weed extremists? But most importantly, I've turned my house into a church for Mizuno, and this is what the outside of my house looks like. The signs oh, no. advertising the church <laughs> in the front of my- This man is a modern day Beethoven? <laughs> I love my waifu Saika Maizono. We've gone everywhere, to a zoo, in a limo, multiple times to the mall, movie theater, ocean, pool, restaurants, and all of the above. And I may be her most dedicated fan, as it's a deep rabbit hole, as alongside that, I also have an RC car so she can move around with me if I want. All my consoles are covered with her, alongside all my game covers, which I replace. I follow over 200 Maizono accounts, which is oh currently God. half the people I follow on Twitter. What the f $500 in commissioned artwork, some of us together. I also have medieval chainmail with all the push button pins that I've collected of her, which goes together with a sword and shield, which is entirely made out of her. But most importantly, I've turned my house into a church for Mizuno, and this is what the outside of my house looks like. The signs oh, no. advertising the church in the <laughs> front of my Bro. I also have multiple billboards. Leon worshippers shall perish in hell. Oh my god outside also advertising Oh no, a weed extremist again? By. My house is- Is this what the future of the world is like? Is this what the future of the world is? Instead of political extremists, we're gonna have weed extremists? Is that what's gonna happen? Instead of- instead of political extremists, instead of, like, random fucking Nazis and shit- On all and... my social media accounts- Oh, man. I accidentally pressed something. I love my wife- I, I, we're just gonna have weeb extremists in the future. They're gonna, like, carry out, like, fucking coordinated attacks on people because of their weeb extremism? Oh my god, this is base. He's found a way to go full on tilt. This is not base, bro. This is, this is not base. Waifu Saika Maizono. We've gone everywhere. To a zoo, in a limo, multiple times to the mall, movie theater. There's a way to get tax breaks, loans, and set up churches at all. I gotta do turkey stuff in about an hour? Okay. Uh, Star, I can show young weebs how to make it? Oh my god. I thought this couldn't be real, but it's too elaborate to not be real. Fuck. I love that he says multiple times to the mall. Dude. I... I don't know what to say. That, like... NJP is dissolving. You guys heard National Justice Party. We're going to go over that later, by the way. National Justice Party is dissolving. Maybe the next big, you know, not big, but the next thing. Oh, rap Rapstick, thank you for the $2. Love the TikTok content. It's wild. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas to you, Rapstick. Okay, so NJP is dissolving. If you guys don't know, NJP is basically like the Nazi party. Um... They were having drama months ago. We covered it. Um, the Gregory Conti guy had a fucking meltdown. Um, uh, started, you know, he had a meltdown. He recorded himself freaking out about um, the finances of the organization. I never got an invite. Guess I'm not white enough. It's probably a good thing you didn't get an invite because they're like legit. They're like the legit Nazis, you know. Um, and this dude starts like screaming "Hail Hitler" and all that, and starts playing like old German songs and all that. So that was like a few months ago. Anyways, NJP is dissolving. I think it's gonna be like the weave extremists that take over. I don't know. I love my waifu Saika Maizono. We've gone everywhere, to a zoo, in a limo, multiple times to the mall, movie theater, ocean, pool, restaurants, and all of the above. And I may be her most dedicated fan, as it's a deep rabbit hole, as alongside that, I also have an RC car so she can move around with me if I want. All my consoles are covered with her, alongside all my game covers, which I replace. I follow over 200 Maizono accounts, which is currently half the people I follow on Twitter. I have over $500 in commissioned artwork, some of us together. I also have medieval chainmail. I cannot the believe this. Pins that I've collected of I cannot believe the weed extremists are the next ones I have to worry about. <laughs> Do they have a political ideology? 
her, which goes together with a sword and shield, which is entirely made out of her. But most importantly, I've turned my house into a church for Mizuno, and this is what the outside of my house looks like. Oh, Besides dude. advertising the church in the front of my driveway, I also have multiple billboards outside also advertising it for people driving by. My house is a legitimate place of worship, though, as when you walk in, you'll see a choir of Sayakas alongside an 18-foot-tall mural. Then, if you go upstairs, you can see the truly special part, which is the walls and rooms of Saika Maizono, as seen here, and have gone as far as putting pages on the ceiling. Then, when you come upstairs, you'll see that the floor is completely covered with pages, and extends all the way to this mini hallway. But the truly special part is this room right here, oh my God, which is the bell. most decorated part inside of the house. Nothing is covered and is the pinnacle of the Holy Land. Generally, for the rest of the rooms upstairs, they're all very similar. Even his bathroom is covered in Mizano, Mais or whatever her name is. No, dude, what the f Oh my god. Watch it, he may know how to fight them. Stars, did you watch Filthy Frank on Weebos? No, I haven't. Person who, who, the person's whole house can be covered under a museum, church, etc. Oh my god. Oh my god, dude. Where's the loli sex doll? Dude, okay, I'm sorry. I have to announce on Twitter that this is happening. Um, well, no. You know what? People will come if they want to come, okay? People will come if they want to come. Please retweet my tweet about me being live, okay? I would greatly appreciate it. Anyways. Um, yep, they're probably getting a, a financial benefits to run a church of. Yeah, but I think also this guy is pretty serious. Like, imagine this. Like, doing this amount of work? including my room and the two separate bathrooms I have upstairs. Oh if you were wondering how I did this, they were all printed with my 10 photo printers, which are also- He has 10 printers? What do you need 10 printers for? Saika Maizuno. Now, of course, being concerned about robbers is a problem, which is why I also have custom Maizuno boomsticks, which include a revolver, a rifle, an army knife, blessed ammo, which I all keep for myself, but also have an entire Saika Maizuno militia, which I call the Waifu Warriors in order to guard my house and also the giant monuments that no. I built, which include no. a 25-foot tall cutout of her, 10, 20-foot How much money does this dude have to be able to make this shit? Oh my god, he has- not only does he have 10 printers, he has like a a fuckload of giant figures of them. Cutouts of her, two 30-foot tall cutouts of her, and one cutout the size of half a tennis court. I love my waifu Saika Maizono. We've gone everywhere, to a zoo, in a limo, is he multiple real? times to the mall. There's no way this dude is real. On all my social media accounts, many people are confused with the giant paper art I make, with one question surfacing the most, that being why, or why are you doing this? And therefore, I'm going to explain why I make these massive cutouts alongside Anime Girl Insane Asylums and anything else I make. This video is going to be the most candid video I've ever made, as I talk about my- He's running a fucking church, I swear to you, he's getting donations, I promise you. Oh my god, but he's got to be mentally ill, he has to be. I wish I was as rich and psychotic as this guy. I mean, he's living his paradise, I guess. Philosophy on being yourself. Imagine being this immune to judge judgment. Yeah. Oh my god. He probably works for, like, Google or some shit. He probably does. He's, like, in the same bracket as, like, furries. For some reason, they have really high-paying jobs and are able to spend exorbitant amounts of money on the most useless shit. Stars, there's a whole back. Okay, okay, all right. Well, and clarify what I get out of it, and my vision is. Uh huh. I've led people like this on dev teams in Silicon Valley. I've seen this shit show before. <laughs> no, dude. Oh no, dude. Stars, his dad makes the dar the Star Wars music. His dad pays. In the future, but first I'll talk about the more obvious point, which is that I find what I make cool. Generally, the type of content I make is the type of content I would want to see if I wasn't myself. Like, the idea of giant anime- Okay, uh, I will- I will put this- Oh, I'm gonna pa pause this in the background. Okay? I'm gonna pause it in the background. Just wait for it to load. This video is sponsored by AG1. Okay, okay, we're gonna pause it, and we're gonna continue watching it. cutouts existing is so cool to me. I personally like the field of craft I'm in, especially since- His dad wrote Grease? His- 
Your dad wrote Grease. One of the one of my favorite um, you know, musicals, by the way. The songs are so good in it. Your dad wrote Grease, and you're doing this with your life. What is going on? You have to watch it, Filthy Frank Wee Boss. It's on YouTube. Okay. I, I'll look it up. It's so surreal since, like, rather than looking at something like a drawing or a painting or even playing a video game and seeing the world it portrays through a screen, with some of the things that I make, it's almost like you are instead in that world and someone grabbed you through the screen and pulled you in. And that part I really enjoy about what I make. Like, some of the rooms that I've made look straight up like you're in a game walking through a map with a modded texture, or it feels like I'm looking at a real-life next spot. So overall, like, the feeling of surrealty I get from what I make is all very cool, as it's like I I have my own little museum, and that's really the value that I get out of it and why I do it. The second reason is because I'm a content creator. I want to make better things than what I'm doing currently now. Some of my creative goals I have currently is to make a cutout that's over 100 feet standing, to create giant 30 foot tall paper models just like this but upscaled, and yes, the giant cutout of Speedwagon that I've been planning for like oh two years God. now. So I do what I do because I have ambitions to make cooler oh things God. by growing on social media. I bring this up as one of my points because I do think that a lot of people think I'm just doing this for laughs and giggles, and while that is true, my goal also in the future is to have what I make be able to pay for a lot of the bigger projects I want to make in the future. Whether it's more paper stuff or even like a game eventually I want to make years down the line. But I think because of how strange and unhinged the stuff I make looks, it's hard to imagine that I have aspirations as I feel people think I'm just mentally deranged and that's all. Which I can't really blame considering if you look at this picture, we do, I do so. not think this is what a normal sane person's house looks like. But the third reason is just my philosophy on being yourself. I post the things that I do because I simply want to, and I'm not really afraid to showcase a side of myself which could be seen as embarrassing, as not posting these things would mean people not knowing who I truly am, and doing that is exhausting, being something that you're not, and never letting your creative urges out. As it's just very freeing, as I feel many people are scared of- Have you watched the Boogie documentary? Yeah, I did. Oh, it's so terrible looking weird by being who they really are. And when you do that, your soul suffers as you're not living the way that your heart wants to be. Uh, this is, this is mental illness. This has to be mental illness. Why I also do my art is because I like genuineness. All the posts that I make in a way can be seen as vulnerable, as it's easy to make no, fun of. it's not. He's completely writing all of this shit off. He used key buzz tax words. Oh my god. Oh, he's aware of why he's doing what he's doing. Oh, God, dude, come on. What I post. However, showcasing this side of me is also what makes me feel alive as I'm no longer hiding my true self and therefore can be much more candid with people I meet as Don't chances fucking, are. Okay. They All right. I'm sorry for being bigoted. Okay, I'm sorry. I, I don't understand it. I'm telling you, I'm not hiding my true self. Okay, that's true. That's true. Um, I'm sorry for being bigoted. Serial killer vibes, Lamau. LOL, he's a brilliant pop artist. Okay, all right. Look, I, I'll hold my judgment, okay? I will or already know that I'm a crazy art waifu person and don't have to pretend that I don't do strange things or think, what if they think of me differently if they knew when talking to someone? And therefore- That's just nightmare fuel. Why? Why would you do that? It's good because like, it's more of a genuine interaction. If they know more who I truly am, I don't have to put up a facade as- it's really hard to have a moment feel meaningful if you're being fake and not speaking with your heart and being honest. Now, of course, I wouldn't go to an in-and-out drive-thru and say, before you talk to me, it's a requirement that you know the existence of the Hololive room and what a deranged anime nutjob I am, or else this conversation is meaningless. But for the type of people you see more often, I'm the type who likes being open and dislikes small talk when it's not really needed, so it helps in being yourself. So in summary, I like making what I make just because I can't be anyone else other than me and enjoy what I make because it's cool and have long-term goals to make even cooler things in the future via making stuff currently to be able to fund my future ideas. But that's pretty much it. Goodbye, then. Uh, Redneck says, I think he went full hard R level mental, but he's actually showing people and making content. He's created his own life around himself. That is true, when we can only hope to, like, do that kind of stuff for ourselves, right?
I wonder if he's like for real about his waifu though. I have no idea why I'm making so many huta cutouts, but here we are. I think we mean like he went full retard, Glitter Bell. He he went full. Re <laughs> Never go full retard. Uh. Oh, it happened. Yeah. I visited the infamous Church of Mizono. Okay. It's creative waifu genius star. He is just being the most authentic version of himself. Star, there is no such thing as mental illness here. Just art. Okay, but maybe it's a little bit of both, you know? Maybe it's a little bit of both. They said that in that in that movie. In the movie, they said you never go full retard. Uh, hello, goat liquid. This is by far the most decorated room. Oh. I'm changing the Christmas background, by the way. in an undisclosed part of uh, Southern California um, to meet up with this guy named Tobin. He makes these like huge cardboard cutouts. I made 10, 20 feet tall cutouts of my waifu. It's mostly of like anime characters and VTubers and Danganronpa characters. I think the thing that really put him on a lot of people's radar, myself included, is that he seemed to be covering the inside of his entire house with printed out photos of this girl from Danganronpa who candidly I don't know the name of. I love my waifu Saika Maizono. We've gone everywhere into a zoo, in a limo, multiple times to the mall, movie theater, ocean, pool, restaurants, and all of the- <laughs> Tron says, look at this shit and tell me we won the war. <laughs> Oh my god. Dude. Above. And I may be her most dedicated fan. Alongside that I honestly wish I could I could be myself the way this man can be himself, you know? I respect it. I respect it. I also have an RC car so she can move around with me. I have over five hundred dollars in commissioned artwork, some of us together, which include a twenty-five foot tall cutout of her, ten twenty foot tall cutouts of her, two thirty foot tall cutouts of her, and one cutout the size of half a tennis court. I don't really know what I don't really know what to expect. I really am excited to see what he's like as a person, like what it's like to talk to this this young man. What leads someone to doing like stuff like this, you know? And also, what resources he has to even be able to create these things, you know? Is, is he using a normal home inkjet printer? Does he have family who owns like a large print shop? I'm like nine minutes from this dude's house. Excited to see what exactly he's got in store for me. Uh, Casual Catharsis says, I wish I could be the cardboard cutout of myself this man wants so desperately. Over $500 in commissioned artwork, like his printer costs alone, are nothing compared to that. Yeah. Hi, Nintendo Mail. Oh, God, dude. I, I Like, I can be myself to an extent, not to the extent that this man is, you know? Moody Morgan says, he looks a little nervous for the encounter. Like, he's meeting an alien for the first time. I mean, he kind of is, right? Like, it is kind of alien to be so, you know, he's just so passionate about this, like, you know? Uh, I don't know that I like this Christmas background. I'm going to change it again. But I should probably put a title here. Um, anime waifu extremist. 
Um. Hi, Pierre420. It'll be a weird day. Merry Christmas. Hey, Tobin, it's Nick. Okay. Uh, thank you. Hey. Oh. Yo. How, wait, how did you get in? Oh. The the gate? The, yeah. The, the big gate? Yeah, I, I buzzed. Oh. And I thought I spoke. This dude lives in a fucking mansion. A beautiful house, honestly. Oh, you. Oh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> I was. I, I thought you were like one of the people that were working out here. And oh. he was well, yo, sorry. Good to meet yeah, you. It's good to meet you too. Uh, Nick. Yeah, totally. Sick. Uh, yeah, Scott's just right behind the store. Scott, <laughs> the Scott I'm thinking. <laughs> Hello everyone, I'm Scott, president of Domino's Pizza. Have you heard of Hatsune Miku? <laughs> oh man, what he looks the angelic fuck? with his chandelier. Wow. Dude. Really trying to capture- By the way, chat, is this background okay for you? Let me know. For the scale of this. Yeah. <laughs> the funny thing about making these like long form sort of documentary style videos is when I get into the edit and I'm like spending all day every day just looking over footage and putting it together, the first thing to fall off is my nutrition. I stop cooking, I stop preparing my own meals, I fall back on like delivery food services. It's not a good habit, which is why I'm very happy that this video is sponsored by AG1. AG1 is a daily supplement made from 75 high quality whole food sources. Okay, I respect your grind, my dude, but we're fast forwarding a little bit. So my name is Tobin Jacobs. I'm 21 years old and I am a prefer, no, I'll, I'll, let me read it. My name is Tobin Jacobs and I am. That's cool, Tack. Seems like it'd be really easy to lose stuff in this room. <laughs> I'm just like, I'm like, if I set this down in the wrong place, it'll just be sucked into the void. Oh yes, um, my name is Tobin Jacobs and uh, I make giant cutouts and you know, other insanity like, you know, just this room, you know, covering it with a bunch of anime girls. So yeah, <laughs> I guess that describes me. So the anime girl who you see plastered all over Tobin's walls, her name is Sayaka Maizono, and she's from a game that came out in 2010 called Danganronpa. Hi, Makoto! I think it's worth saying that Danganronpa is a visual novel about students trapped in a school forced to murder each other. And the reason that's worth saying is because Sayaka dies halfway through chapter one. She is literally the first character killed. She's around, I've done the math, and this is being generous, maybe for 10% of the runtime, maybe, like maximum. But Sayaka's short screen time was not enough to dissuade Tobin, who says that for him, it was love at first sight. At 14, like, you know, uh, you know, I said, like, essentially waifu material, and that has been that for the last, you know, like seven years. Oh, I didn't showcase this. <laughs> I didn't showcase that. Is this an Ida bag? What is this? This is a shirt. It's a bit hard to like take off and put on, but I'll, I'll wear it. So yeah, this is uh, this is another part of the mic and oak thing. So I've covered the shirt with a bunch of, uh, I don't know what they would call these. Push play buttons or push pin buttons. Yeah, you know, it's like I'm wearing a, a suit of armor. Hmm. There we go. Wow. What I want to eventually do is like, cover like in the entire thing, but also like my pants too. Yeah. So like I'm just covered completely head to toe within uh, with uh, <laughs> these buttons, so yeah. Crazy. I scratched myself. Oh, with one of the pins? Yeah, all these things have pins on it, so. But yeah. <laughs> If you like zoom in here, you can see that like each like this thing is made of like individual like pages. It was oh, all yeah. it was all cut out by hand uh, on my eight printers, which I'll showcase later, mm -hmm. and like taped together with tape. So <laughs> so much to take in. 
I don't even I don't even know where to start. Um, <laughs> just give a tour? Yeah, sure. Let's just let's start with a tour. All righty. So um, I could showcase over here really quick. Uh, you can step on this, by the way. You sure. Yeah, like the paper's like really um, uh, like sturdy. You know, we have the brain of Cthulhu from Terraria. Uh, we have Hosho Marine, and then we have uh, Iron Mouse. This particular one that I'm working on, it's gonna be 45 feet tall. Um, it's gonna be the tallest I've ever made. Um, with all these things, I always like going bigger and taller, so um, this is just, just the next step. Dude. This is just like my wall of cutouts that I've made of uh, Mizuno. Because like these are cutouts I've already put up, they've gotten a little bit damaged, but um, mm -hmm. yeah, this one's 30 feet tall, and then this one's also 30 feet tall. Yeah, that's a head of uh, Sunny from Omori. And then we have Takura. She's kind of falling down, but yeah. Yeah, and then over here, we have uh, the Monokuma army. There's about uh, 300 or 360, Jesus. I believe, these so far, uh, making 2,000 of them. Alrighty, this is the main, this is the main like storage. It's just a, a junkyard. <laughs> so this is like storage number one. And then over there is uh, storage number two. This is uh, Sea Dog, so. Okay. Yeah, uh, this one I, I didn't really take like the best of care of. Can I, can I walk? Yeah, yeah, you can, you can step on it. Like, uh, sorry, no, no disrespect to Sea Dog. Yes, I'm very sorry. <laughs> and then this is gonna be something that uh, I showcase later. Yeah. My decapitated wife. <laughs> I have about 300 more of them nice. though, so. Because it's made out of paper, like the stuff is like so fragile. So mm. like a lot of it ends up like, you know, either having to be trashed or just, um, you know, it just ends up getting wrinkled, so. Does this motherfucker yeah. live in a mansion? Under, no. Yes. The answer is yes. We saw, we saw the outside of his house. It is very clearly a mansion and it is not any mansion. It's fucking ridiculous. Another uh, storage room right now. There's just like a bunch of Monica cutouts uh, up there right now. Uh, eventually, I'm gonna make all of these like standing though. You know, it's gonna look like there's an entire army in your house. Yeah, this field is like where I put like all my big, big projects when I was first like starting out. You know, a lot of you know bad memories in this place because uh, and good memories, but. You know, a lot of bad because this is where a lot of them got killed by the wind. So this is how long- Got killed by the wind. Okay. All right, sir. Um, there's only Monica. This world is so unfair. He should use the scraps to make a 3D Sayaka out of paper mache. I think he does make like 3D paper sculptures. I had to walk and drag with a big 40 foot long roll uh so yeah and you can't leave it there right you have to bring it all the way back yep pretty much did anyone ever ask you what you were doing yes they were and you what, know what was your answer usually uh art <laughs> that's the easiest explanation you know who's, who's that right there oh that's uh, uh mizuhara uh cheese god so, right there. Uh, and I have a few more. <laughs> There's a whole room dedicated to Mizuhara that's over here, so. Alrighty, so this is the Mizuhara Chizuru room. And um, this is essentially where I sleep. Yeah, this is also coming into uh, progress. You can see right here we have uh, a cutout of Roloff from Skyrim. So, mm -hmm. this is essentially where, oh god. The reason why I created him is because you may know. I think I have too many things going on in my OBS because like having trouble right now. Let me delete it. Okay. In Skyrim, the first thing that's said to you is, uh, hey, you're finally awake. So, <laughs> and si since this is where I wake up, he can tell me that every day. Hey, you, finally awake. Okay, this is the whole live room, but Whoa. Uh, these things, they go all the way over here. Yeah, the only reason why is because like there's outlets there and like I don't want to risk a fire. So mm, sorry. Yeah, yeah, it's falling down though. <laughs> I mean, I did this like three months ago, so I sort of like optimized for like speed and whatnot. So, mm -hmm. but I really think I should like make like my house more like a gallery in mm -hmm. a sense. So, but yeah, this is just a bathroom. Nice. Um, I can showcase uh, on the on okay, these sure. walls is uh, the ten. 
uh, 20 feet tall mice cut out by Dude. Um, yeah, so this is just like sort of like uh, like a spare parts room. So all those uh, mizno cutouts that were like on the uh, like uh, the stands Thank that looked like a fire. This is all of them. Um, I had to like essentially just remove the base because like it's a bit hard once they're all attached to cardboard. Yeah, sadly this isn't enough anymore. But um, yeah, that used to be at the other house. All sixty of them. My family members they used to have to eat like oh my God, every day with dude. Them, just looking at them. <laughs> Um, and then this is the crazy room. This is your bedroom, bro. There's a bed in here. <laughs> this is the crazy room. You wake I'm, up to those faces. Yeah. So with with my art, like I like also just creating like oh his head's. So these are all these are all original creations. Yeah. These, these yeah. are your OCs in mm -hmm. here. Yeah. These are all my original creations. Um, and yeah, I'm gonna fill out this room with a bunch of other stuff. Um, Then in here, this is my favorite part of the room, just because this is like where I get all my work done. So these are all my printers, you know. I have eight Mizuno printers. I used to have 10, but two are broken. This is my ink stockpile. And in here, we have more ink. So uh, oh my yeah, God. these are, uh, these are uh, ink bottles. So the printers I use are actually a little bit special because they use like ink bottles rather than cartridges, which like make the printers like last way, way longer. Mm -hmm. So um, it's really, really good. Yeah, so... Uh, How many of these do you think he jerks off to? How many of these do you think he jerks off to? This is, uh, like, the storage office where I keep, like, uh, all my paper. So <laughs> there's just tons and tons of paper. About how much paper do you think you've gone through so far? Do you have any, any estimate? Probably, I would say probably, like, about 20,000 pages. So... But keep in mind, though, that uh, one page that I use is twice the size of like a normal sheet of paper. Oh, so, so they're not eight and a half by eleven. No, or... they're they're eleven by seventeen. It's exactly twice the size. So, if you were to like break that out, down Dude. into like just normal sheets of paper, that would be like forty thousand. So for all my stuff, I just cut. This is the uh, the thing that I use. What is this uh, wooden? Thing here. This wooden thing is, uh, it's sort of my own, like, sort of, I guess, like, contraption I made. So it used to have, like, a scissors, but um, it's this little invention. There's a tape cutter. Um, essentially, it makes, like, stuff really, really, uh, makes things way faster. So basically, how it works is, I'm gonna pretend these are scissors, is that you just cut like that, and then you tape for more. When you're sitting down, right, and you're cutting, and you need to tape, you have to, like, first, you have to occupy one other hand, so it, it takes a little bit more time to do that. I've had this thing for like three years, and I use it for everything. Wow. Yeah, that thing is so useful. <laughs> cutting is by far the longest like process. Like I'm really, really fast though, like in terms of cutting. I can actually, there are some images I can cut. Like I can show you just like how I do it. Basically for all my projects, what I do is that I just cut like this. You see? Just do this over and over again. Oh, dude, he's so practiced at it, too, that he can just do a straight line without even thinking about it. Just tape it that. This man lives with no shame or irony, making him the most free man on the planet. I agree with you, Conaboy. Redneck was just saying the same thing. I wish I could be this free. And then... And Redneck was like saying this. this dude probably unironically runs it as a church and gets, like, tax write-offs or whatever. Um, yeah, like, when you realize how much legit work it would take to do what he does, that's true. Char says, do you think God stays in heaven because he fears his own creation? <laughs> holy Thibel? You saw the Holy Thibel, right? Oh, shit, did I miss that? How many squares is this one going to end up being? Probably like 70. I'll just do this one. It's very fun. <laughs> oh, that's some messed up tape. And then there's uh, one thing. I like to see, like... The recycling crew must know this guy. Like, how many pages I can cut within a specific amount of time. Like, 40 pages within, like, 10 minutes or something. It it's a really weird thing. Like, at times, it can be grueling, you know, like, I, I can't, like, cut or anything for, like, 
you know, weeks or whatnot. But when I'm in the zone, like, it's, it's really fun. Just because, like, um, it's really fun to get, like, a streak or whatnot. Like, how many pages you can go, um, you know, without messing up or Jeez. just the... Uh... Dude, that, I need a board. I need a cutting board as big as that. That is so, that looks so awesome. I don't know what it is, but I think it's just, like, I like, I like seeing, like, how fast I can do it, you know? Yeah. Like, I, I get a lot of dopamine from that. Yeah, then over here we have uh, the... Econoboy says this is the proof we needed that there's no such thing as low-skilled labor. It's true. Dinner table of uh, Sea Dog VA and... Abaddon! Uh, and... Thank you so much for the sub! Uh, I think it was a sub, right? Yeah, thank you for the sub. 14 months. Guys. Be like Abaddon, okay? That's big dick energy, all right? Subbing and super chatting, becoming a member on YouTube, joining the Patreon, that's big dick energy, okay? Gigguk with uh, Gendo at the, the, the middle right there since he's the master. Oh my god! <laughs> he's got like a whole fucking... You would never be lonely if you were in his house with all these models around. Like... I don't know what it is, but I think it's just like... I like, I like seeing like how fast I can do it, you know? Yeah. Like, I, I get a lot of dopamine from that. Yeah, then over here we have uh, the dinner table of uh, Sea Dog VA and, oh my uh, God, and Gig bro. Up with uh, Gendo at the, the, the middle right there since he's the mastermind. I would feel such like a classy person. <laughs> the thing the characters peering through the window. Oh, yeah. that's so creepy. <laughs> Pretty much like almost like anywhere in this house. Like, Shar asks, who is going to make a table like this but with Stardust? Look, if somebody wants to Photoshop it, that table, but it's just Stardust all around, you know. Don't make an actual table. I might be concerned. I might be worried <laughs> about your mental health if you do it. Since he's the mastermind. You know. <laughs> it's the same the thing in Rumpa characters. That is. The window. Yeah. Pretty yeah. Much like, that would scare well, me in the night. I don't know how this dude doesn't get spooked in the night. Almost like anywhere in this house. Like, if you look somewhere, there's guaranteed to be something. So. This is the hallways, you know, we, we have like all the soldiers here. Uh, I really like this, I, I really uh, liked putting them here because it looks like they're all saluting you. you know? mm -hmm. Yeah, it looks like MGS5 in here right now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Glitterbell, Glitterbell says, dude, if you broke into his house, you would fucking leave. That's true. Imagine being a burglar or a butler, really. Let's imagine first the burglar breaking into this dude's house, okay? Laugh all you want, but he is, in fact, stimulating the economy by doing this. No, you're right, Common Cure. You're right. If you were a burglar and you broke into this house, you would... You would leave. <laughs> you actually would leave. You would take one look and you would turn around. <laughs> Glitterbell says nobody would believe you if you told them what you saw. The burglar goes to, like, makes an appointment with a therapist the very next day because of what he saw. <laughs> This is like I'm losing it. I can't do this anymore. Oh my god. Uh, Conaboy says his energy is so strong. It's making me think this isn't completely insane, but it has to be, right? It has to be, I guess. How does, uh, how does your family feel about this in general? Oh, they're very. It's a, it's a bit of insanity and a bit of genius, I think. Open minded about it, they you know? Have to be, I guess. No, I mean hundreds and hundreds of full-size anime girls. Yeah, there's some weird people. They have anime waifus. It's not that big of a deal. It, he's talking to his therapist. He's like, no, there were so many. <laughs> oh my god, the poor burglar. Imagine being the butler or the cleaning person here too, you know? The cleaning people who come through here. Oh man, they probably are... And they probably have to make sure that they don't spray on his papers, you know? Can you imagine? They can't spray on his paper. If they, if they spray in the wrong place, he, like, gets mad. He's like, how could you do this? The ink is bleeding. This man is a modern-day Beethoven. <laughs> True. <laughs> oh, my God, dude. I guess. Yeah, like, they know that, you know... Um... You know, I work uh, very hard, you know, into the night, so, um, and... The burglar's gonna sue for damages? Yeah, for psychological damages. Oh my god. 
Yeah, the burglar is not the same. After he, like, breaks in in the middle of the night, he is not the same when he leaves. He just turns around. <laughs> he makes... He books it to the therapist the next day, and even the therapist doesn't believe him. Oh, that's... Don't mind that. That's just a win. And... All right, I have to... Well, <laughs> yeah, I just have to see this guy blowing in the wind. Like a you know, flat. it's also printed on high quality paper, right? Like it looks like it's pretty high quality paper. It's glossy. The ink is really well done too. Flag. <laughs> he is. The rest of them are saluting the flag that is also him yeah, himself. <laughs> so, but you were saying they're very. They understand like that you work really hard on this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's Generally, HG they're too. very, very. Uh, like I guess you could say, all right with it. You know, sometimes. You know, uh, other times. You know, it may they may be like, you know, what is this? You know. Holy crap! Oh my god! What the heck is that? But generally, all the times, like, uh, they're, they're very supportive, you know, just because, like, they know, like, how hard I work on all this type of stuff. Uh, is it okay if I record a little bit in here? Go right ahead. Oh, cool. Are you already pretty inoculated to all this stuff? Yes. And no. <laughs> yeah. These are his parents. Wow. It was what you saw over there, as you can see, this is the last remnant of it. He, mm. he overtook my recreation room for my enjoyment and music and yeah. the game for how long? Eight months mm -hmm. longer, maybe? Yeah. Oh, well, hello, everyone. This, the entire living room has oh been my cleared God. out. So, oh so my now God. I have doubled the amount of room. They're just, they've just accepted it. <laughs> Uh, Kendrick says, bro, how much is his electric bill? I don't know. Parents, yeah, we're not having grandkids. Certainly not anytime soon, if ever. Oh my god, dude. So it should be a lot easier. Ima imagine, imagine you are an esteemed, uh, you know, you wrote Greece, okay? You are an, uh, an esteemed artist, okay? An esteemed writer. Okay? That is what you're known for, okay? You've got your recreation room. You worked hard. You've, you've spent your years. Now you have a huge mansion. You've got your recreation room to enjoy your stuff. But what does your adult son do? Your adult son prints out God knows how many fucking copies of this shit is and takes over. <laughs> Um, okay. At least he's mass HD printing. At least he's not mass HD printing skibbity toilets, I guess. Econovoy says, I think my parents would immediately put me in a psych ward if I did this. Oh, yeah. No, like, um, if, if I'm, if I repeat a sentence more than, like, if I repeat a sentence, like, more than two times around my family, they're like, you have to stop. You can't do it. Like, imagine doing this level of repetition, printing this many of this guy out. <laughs> My family is like, you, you have to stop. After I repeat something a second time, this dude is just repeating forever, endlessly. Oh my god. Um... Pack says he'll print grandchildren for them. That that's messed up. That's messed up. Kron says, um, any woman that has his children is committing a crime against humanity. Bro. No, dude, come on. Still 50% less crazy than MAGA Republicans, I guess. I don't know. The quality of the prints is really nice, though. It is really nice. I was just commenting on that. With the tables and the printers were all in here. You put a life size tank and in the kitchen. You can oh see my the god! Kitchen. <laughs> it's in like the kitchen? 
If I were the mom, I would not be happy about that. Like my, my mom uh, has told me that like I'm just like a, a virus, you know? <laughs> like I was like that in the other house. Like first I took the upstairs and then the downstairs too, you know? Oh my yeah. god. Walk out every, every morning was like so. Dude, imagine being in your 50s or 60s and seeing your child go nuts like this. Oh my god. And the Twitch poll people think they loop too much, yeah. No, I know, like, all streamers loop when they talk about stuff. Like, it's kind of how you make ideas stick in your audience's head. But I swear my family does not like it. If I repeat things more than two times, two times and that's it. They're like, you have to stop. You have to stop. I'm like, oh my god. Um, Glitterbell says, Stardust, you have to find a way to scale up the images without losing resolution. That alone is like a whole challenge. Oh my god. I just can't, he, in, he invaded his parents' face, and then he invaded his own space, and my own flesh and blood has become a virus. Oh no, dude. Oh my god. Imagine having your child do this, dude. You work so hard for years and years, you slave away at your job, and you make enough to buy a fucking ridiculous mansion like this, and then this happens. Ugh. A virus, you know, <laughs> like I was like that in the other. In the kitchen, you couldn't see the kitchen. It's like my my mom uh, has told me that like I'm just like a a virus, you know, <laughs> like I was like that in the other house. Like first I took the upstairs and then the downstairs too, you know. Just imagine seeing this as you're walking. <laughs> it's insanity. Yeah. Walk out every every morning was like something else. There was so no furniture wow. in the other room, and it all been pushed in here. <laughs> COVID took so much away from society, but this is by far the worst outcome. I can't tell if this is like the best thing or the worst thing. I don't know. It was, it was like Professor Frankenstein went berserk and overtook the house. <laughs> One of the things I was most curious about was how Tobin goes about getting these giant. Um. Not a poor person hobby, he must be loaded or in super debt. His father is very well off uh, from writing Greece. Um, Stardust, were some of the cutout soldiers different sizes? Yeah, I think so. I don't know. My own flesh and comb. <laughs> oh Gigantic things up. How he gets them stood up to take these photos and videos to begin with. On the day I visited him, he was erecting a giant 30 foot tall cutout of Misato from Neon Genesis Evangelion and he offered to let me help him put it up. So I did. God. Imagine if it rains while he's trying to do this too, you know? Like, if, imagine he lays all this out perfectly to, to, you know, set it up and then it rains. Oh my god, the amount of work that this must take. And you know it's happened before. There's no way it hasn't. Okay, ready? Ready. Okay. Dude, look at that also. What are these rods that he's put there? He actually put a lot of work into this. Yep, just like that. <clears throat> I love that he wears a skater helmet while setting up his giant anime girl. That's true, that's a good observation. Yep. All right, it's working. working? Yep. Wow. Wow. All right, it's up. Nice. You can know. You think the people in the hot air balloon above are like looking at this and they're like, what the fuck is going on? Oh, he's in California. It's a balmy 65 degrees year-round. They have no idea what rain is. Isn't it humid at least, though? You know he didn't always wear that helmet. There's a story there. Oh, my God. Imagine he got a concussion one day from, like, erecting one of these massive figures. And now he wears a helmet. Or maybe his mom makes him wear the helmet. She's like, okay, you can do your crazy shit, but I need you to wear a helmet because I'm afraid. I don't know. You're right. There probably is a... There probably is a story to him wearing a helmet. Um, 
Dude, the, the hot air balloon people must see this too. Like, look at them in right, the distance. You can see them. Yep. See? Up here. They're, they definitely see all the shit. The pipes supporting those are heavy. Yeah. All right, it's up. Nice. You can uh, come they out if you want. They definitely see it. They definitely yeah. see. Wow. That's quite big. That that rig with the yeah. I definitely don't want to show that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I'll, I'll, oh, yeah, you don't want kids doing yeah. that. And then... mm -hmm. Like, um, I actually almost became paralyzed because uh, one of them fell on me <gasps> when I was using that thing. Like, it fell on my back, and, like, my, I went to the doctor, and they said that I bruised my spine, so... Oh, my God. Yeah. <laughs> You're, you were right that there was a story there, casual catharsis. He almost became paralyzed from one of those things hitting him. <laughs> Actually, footage of it too. Of, really? Yeah, of it happening. Mm -hmm. So. The Iron Mouse incident. Oh my god. No, stop, stop. Oh. <laughs> There's a reason I don't do it that way anymore. Imagine being found dead like this. Yeah, like you're in the middle of trying to erect your the 30 foot tall anime waifu. You you're you're like they find you dead. You die. The helmet's been OMG. <laughs> yeah. Who is the girl helping him too? Was that his mom? <laughs> There's a reason I don't do it that way anymore. Time for some dinner and a beer. Cheers and hope y'all had a good day. I certainly have. I hope you guys did too. Hello, 10,000 noodles. Welcome. Oh my God. Jeez, dude. Oh, we did. Can you see him? Yeah, you can see her face. Oh, yes. Scaling and spacing stuff out to make, to make it look. It's so shocking how, like. A few minutes later, while talking with Tobin's mom. To do with, like, scaling and spacing stuff out to make. The wind picks up. It's so shocking how, like, how your brain can tell when something's not. not the background's not moving right or whatever. Oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh -oh. Well. <clears throat> Bro, you need the okay. helmet on. So th is that not normally how you do it? Uh, yeah, usually yeah. we just lay it down. Like, you, well, yeah, you... People, not like, not like, oh, it's falling. <laughs> yeah, usually you just, like, gradually, like, lay it down with the rope, and then you just, like, let it fall, but that, that was, just... For a moment, that was pretty scary, because I, <laughs> I didn't know how heavy it was or how dangerous it was for you to run under it. Yeah. But it, you were okay. Yeah. I made a 30 feet tall cutout of Masado. Step on me, mommy is now more feasible. Oh no, dude. What's oh. down here? Oh yes, these are the um these are the, the video games. I was just thinking like what else could I put Mizuno on? So I pretty much like uh, ripped off all the covers covers for my video games and I just replaced it with like these custom made uh, Mizuno titles. There's actually like a ton more of these. There's like literally like 500 of these things. These are oh other God. game systems. Those will have PlayStation 2. And then here, these are all games too. We have PlayStation D 3. Bro, do you have food? Um, yeah, I don't know why there's a... Yeah, uh, yeah, he's a content creator. How does the city allow... <laughs> Moody Morgan says, I bet he lives in an exclusive 1% neighborhood with other millionaires and celebs. He 
Can you imagine waking up every morning wondering which anime waifu the neighbor's kid has erected? Yeah. Yeah. Jesus. To be on up there, but um, yeah, Danganronpa S. That, yeah. And it's uh, Saika Maizuno edition. You got you got Danganronpa Rock Band for the Wii. Yeah. Let me, yeah, I can show that. <laughs> like, yep. Nice. Since she's a singer, it makes sense. Mm -hmm. So. Oh, hello everyone. So, this is an update. As you can see, this is my room. You know, um, if we go in here. Oh my god. I need context. Why is he doing this? How is he doing this? Where does he get the money? Where is he storing all of them? I am losing my mind. I'm losing my mind. I'm still learning. Neighbors are just placing bets on who it'll be next week. I doubt the neighbors even know like who the what the names of these characters are. I bet they think this all of them are the same one. Probably the biggest question to whoever was watching this is like, why does this your room look like this? And um, it, it's really just because, um, well, I, uh, I, I do have to admit, I do like Saika but- um, Yeah, I kind of got that impression. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but but it, was, it was because like, after I saw that original first giant waifu that I did, it got like millions and millions of views. It told me that like, uh, sort of like, the i guess you could say the cringe sort of like genre of content was something that you know i should probably do more of one because like you know it's uh um a lot of people like it but also because it's just uh hilarious <laughs> wow and he made would've... this like 3d sculpture with the paper too that's wild you see a video of someone acting insane on the internet, it's really easy to assume that it's exactly what it looks like. Just another eccentric person with zero self-awareness doing something that they might not even realize is really, really He became self-aware. How terrifying. If the cringe comes naturally, might as well harness it. That is true. The more time I spent hanging out with Tobin, hearing him talk about his motivations, his goals, it became really clear that with him, there's something more going on. I've only played Danganronpa 1, but mm -hmm. she's in it, right? Yeah, she, she, she is. The first, she's the first one to die? She's the first one to so die. So she has very little yeah. time on like on screen relative to the other characters. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And, yeah. This may come as a surprise, but um, I've, I've actually never played Danganronpa <laughs> before. <laughs> what? Yeah. What? This revelation felt like getting punched in the stomach. No, like, how dude. could this be true? How could the guy who made this and this and this have not played the game Sayaka Maizono is from? It made no sense to me. So Tobin did his best to explain it. I've never played the first game. So uh, the re how I got introduced to uh, Maizono is that, or became aware of her existence is that um, I watched the anime. Maizano? Moody Morgan says, oh, I bet like every other, every suburban neighborhood, the nosy moms have figured out what exactly is going on and told the other moms to keep their daughters away. He's like Michael Reeves if less than Paul. Dude, he's, he might be a genius, honestly. I do think he's a genius, but I, I don't know what to say. So he doesn't know about the second cutout aesthetic of Danganronpa, the video game. That's so mind blowing. I don't know what to say. What a relief. So the story on that is basically so almost like Two or one year ago, I saw this video on TikTok of this guy who had like a bunch of like his his entire phone was just decorated uh, with the character Peck from Attack on Titan. So today I'm gonna show um uh, um 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 uh, no no um, um it was everything from like his apps to like every photo in his camera roll, his search history. That's actually pretty funny. That was actually pretty funny.
Oh my and god. At the time, like I really liked Mizuno, so I just thought like as a one-off project, I should do the same, you know, or something similar. And I did that and I included the original first giant waifu that I did. Uh and like after that point I made that video, like it just it just sort of like took off like more than anything that I've ever made before. For like the, the Mizuno stuff, you either have people that think that like, oh man, this guy is completely insane, or you have people that like uh like, you know, I guess know me a little bit better who like know it's like sort of like uh, a satirical type of thing doing something this extreme even as a joke is also still insane yes so it is to, was making content on the internet something you've always aspired to yeah so you know i've actually been on youtube probably longer than uh like a lot of like og youtubers the first video that i ever posted to youtube was in like 2008 so uh i was like six years old at the time <laughs> for you <gasps> That's in the whole world for you like i've always had like a very like i guess you could say innate like desire to like post videos online mm -hmm. and then just like constantly throughout when i was like 10 or 12 i would always like post videos here and there but yeah i was really when i was 15 i decided that like this was maybe something that i wanted to do like seriously By the end of my time with Tobin, I felt like most of my questions had been answered. I knew how he went about doing this. Uh, I knew more or less why he went about doing this. The thing that still felt like a question mark to me, though, was the resources. This is, uh... Yeah, this is... This is thy tennis court. This is where like I put stuff which is just like flat. So very, very long cutouts are like a hundred feet uh, long and whatnot. So it is, is really ideal, you know, this this uh, property just because there's so much flat land. So um, huh. yeah. What what is the story with this property in particular? Like oh, why this? do you have access to this house and I, do you just live here right right now? Mm -hmm. I live here alone, so. As someone who just spent a year working on and is now launching a series of very, very high effort, high quality posters, shameless plug, I know firsthand that printing things is not a cheap process, especially printing at the scale and frequency that Tobin's doing it. So the one big remaining question to me was, how could he afford this? While filming with Tobin, basically nothing was off limits and really there- Wait, what? My waifu is Taiga for Toradora. Um, never occurred to me to make her larger defeats the purpose of her being all small and violent. My waifu is Star. I hump my Star body pillow every night. Oh, good God, dude, why? Um, Kendrick says he's convinced me. How do I join his call? <laughs> I don't believe him. He's still in the denial face. <laughs> it's satire. It's a cope. Ugh, please, dude. Uh, there was only two requests he had while I was filming with him. One, do not show his father. And two, do not show a poster that he had upstairs. Oh, I will mention though. Uh, I will try not to get any of those shots in there. So okay. there's some sensitive information in there. Oh, I see. Okay. And just to be, what's the stuff I should definitely not be showing? Oh, just to make just sure. Just like the, the, the posters up there. Just and not that stuff. Yeah, okay. not the free stuff. So. Okay, okay. Yes. Cool. That is hidden lore. Got it. Here's the thing though. I had no clue what he was talking about. In fact, I would never even looked at or filmed the posters he said not to film. To be honest, I didn't even really think about it again until a few months later when I got this message from Tobin. He said, Sorry for messaging out of the blue, but I wanted to tell you you can leave my dad in the video. I know you figuring out what my parents thought about this situation was a big question you wanted to answer. Recently, it was leaked that my father wrote the musical Grease, and now not including it in the video won't protect much. But wanted to say this as I wanted to make sure you have the most interesting video possible as I was very honored when you came over, plus I kind of want people to know how much of a sweetheart he is. Yeah. IDK if the video is already finished and is too late, but just a heads up if you wanted to include it. 
like it seems I get the sense that you do this full time. Is that correct? Yes, pretty much. So pretty much like uh, I have the luxury, you know, uh, to like uh, be well off enough where I can just like sort of like do this like full time. And it's also because, uh, you know, my parents are very generous and whatnot. So, um, yeah. To me, there is something cosmically hilarious about the fact that because a man wrote a musical in the 1960s that went on to be adapted into like a motion picture with that Olivia Newton-John and John Travolta, That's so the fact that wild. some of the fortune accrued by that is being used to make some of the most alarming, <laughs> fascinating, upsetting anime fan oh content God. on the entire internet. The, the fact that those are connected at all boggles my mind. The fact that I, without knowing it, met one of the most legendary playwrights in human history and that he was sitting on a couch watching a baseball game surrounded by anime girls. That is hilarious. It's just a, it's a beautiful world we live in, you know? But sincerely, I, it is actually very touching to me the way Tobin's parents have responded to this. As much as they joke around that he has taken over their living space, I got the distinct sense that they're really proud that Tobin has found what he loves to Aww. do. This is a Taiwan uh, art news article, <laughs> and there's that guy. Um, this is, who is this Tobin? Sorry. That's uh, Mume. Yeah, there's um, his girls. And then it just That's so going. sweet. Yago. Yago. Yago, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> wow. I have no idea what it says. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That's yeah. impressive. A unique situation. To Absolutely, say the least. but I, I think uh, it's it's really great that y'all have been so accommodating of him doing this. You know, like <laughs> yeah, it's it's just happened. <laughs> you know I mean? Yeah, yeah. I mean, I, I don't know. I guess it's like like anything. How does something happen? Someone starts with one little thing and mm -hmm. things growing and growing and. Then you see the creative thing is really happening. Yeah. They go. They don't realize it's gonna take go over. Completely. <laughs> And to Tobin's credit, while his parents do currently help him fund this, his goal is to eventually be self-sufficient and do this for a living. In the future, uh, I want it to become like a full-time uh, sort of business, you know, selling cutouts or whatever it may be, you know? It's like a lot of people like, uh, That's so cool. they, uh, they want to like buy my cutouts. I've actually gotten a few orders, um, but like right now I'm not doing it because like doing it like this, where you cut in each individual image, is just way too time consuming. So yeah. I think it speaks volumes about Tobin's parents that they saw this behavior and instead of stamping it down, they encouraged it and they identified that he loved doing it and allowed him to continue it and just let him see where it takes him. Some of the best things in the world come from when people like Tobin, people who are unusual, <laughs> people who are maybe eccentric or unusual are allowed to do exactly what they want and then put it on the internet. Like all my favorite stuff on the planet comes from that. Generally, the type of content I make is the type of content I would want to see if I wasn't myself. Like the idea of giant anime cutouts existing is so cool to me. It's easy to make fun of what I post. However, showcasing this side of me is also what makes me feel alive as I'm no longer hiding my true self. Many people are scared of looking weird by being who they really are. And when you do that, your soul suffers as you're not living the way that your heart wants to be. That's pretty much it. Goodbye then. That's really sweet that his parents are so supportive. So last year I started reaching out to some of my favorite artists on earth with an idea I had to do a series of film posters inspired by my videos. The idea is that for every video I release, I'll have one commemorative piece of artwork inspired by that video and one inspired by a past video. Each of these pieces of artwork will be available in a poster version or a t-shirt version if you prefer. And I'm kicking this off with two illustrations, one inspired by Tobin and his many sayakas, and another inspired by the Domino's Pizza featuring Hatsune Miku saga. You can find both designs for a limited time at nickmer.ch. I've been sitting on that domain for a minute. Beyond that, thank you for watching and thank you to my channel members for making it possible to spend six months on a single video like this. I hope you enjoyed this one and I hope you enjoy the next one. Have That's so awesome. Um, great video. Um, great video. Okay, go give it a like. Also give my stream a like, okay? Um, so that's that.
Damn, dude. Fucking wild. I wonder what he's been up to recently. Dude, he did Moist Critical. <laughs> no. Showcasing fucking... the weird things I own in my house. 100 Charlie cutouts. Big head of Sunny. Amnesia Grunt. Giant Huta poster. Lisa. Mizono cutouts. Charo. Terraria weapons. Jeez, dude. Mizono rug. Wall of Markiplier. Mizono walls. They was it. I, yeah, dude, Glitterbell had the quote of the night. If a burglar broke in, they would just immediately leave. <laughs> just Monica's. Oh. Harabreen. Wall of Montpat. Monster plus Omori cutouts. Showcasing the weird things. I, I just I. I made a 45 feet tall cutout of Iron Man. Stay with me. What she looks like to call. Imagine passing by in your car, even. That is just wild. What the Saka house looks like now versus. So anyway, guys, if you like the content, please consider subscribing, super chatting, becoming a member. Um, I made a forty-foot-tall cutout of what? Oh, hello, everyone. So today I want to of Ludwig. Forty-foot-tall cutout of Ludwig that I made. By far and large, literally, this is the tallest and biggest cutout that I've ever made that I could stand. And I'm very glad that I was able to stand it up, as for the longest time, 40-foot-tall cutouts were a challenge for me. And after this, I think it should be a lot easier. I have made other 40-foot-tall cutouts before. Dude, though. he should offer tours and charge people? Yeah. Oh my god, dude. And look at the, the sculptures, the paper sculptures he makes, too. A more detailed look at Noella paper figurine I made. I mean, this is just amazing. This is actual art. The sculptures are legit. Yeah, I agree with you, Glitterbell. Oh my god, dude. A more Do you think he has, like, a flashlight in there? Sorry, I shouldn't have asked that question. Oh, God, dude. It's just amazing, really. It's just amazing. It's inspiring. <sighs> My God, dude. My God. Okay, next up, we have... What is this? Then canned off the gray and canned off the white and Monty Python and the Holy Grail's Black Knight and Benita Mussolini and the Blue Meanie and Cowboy Curtis and John B. the Genie Robocop, the Terminator, Captain Kirk and Darth Vader, no pants, Superman, every single power Then canned off the gray and Okay, okay There, oh god, there's a goon cave hidden in that mansion somewhere bet <laughs> 